Guiné-Bissau, Moçambique e São Tomé e Príncipe estão reunidos na capital angolana, palco da 11ª Cimeira do Chefe de Estado dos Palop. Na sessão de abertura, que contou com a presença da secretária executiva da Cplp, o Chefe de Estado angolano considerou que a Cimeira de Luanda constitui um novo impulso para o incremento da cooperação entre os cinco. José Eduardo dos Santos alertou para a necessidade de se preservar a memória coletiva dos Palop. Para se evitar que o essencial dessa memória comum se venha a perder irremediavelmente ou venha a ser opulso. O Maialá da Guiné-Bissau arrancou fortes aplausos dos presentes ao aconselhar maior realismo na definição dos projetos a serem implementados no âmbito dos Palop. Realisticamente execuíveis, isto é, as que correspondam às realidades socioeconómicas de cada um dos nossos países. Valores como a democracia e a solidariedade marcaram o discurso de Miguel Trovoada, presidente de Santo dos Palop, que dentro em breve deixa igualmente a presidência de Santo Tomé e Príncipe depois de dois mandatos. ...da concertação no seu seio e promova os mecanismos que possam concorrer para o... ...cinco, deixando para trás longos anos de hibernação, marcada por vários... ...Lang Clyde insisted that his side, the lowest rank in the world, had had a right to play. Today score beats by nine, or was it... Confirmation of their record score of either 31-0 or 32-0 over American Samoa in their Oceania qualifying group. FIFA are to see the referees report to officiate the final score. After there were so many goals, the people lost count. Whatever the outcome, Australia have set a new world record. They were 16-0 up at halftime with Archie Thompson getting an individual scoring record with the reported 14 goals. They set the previous record on Monday beating Tonga 22-0, but increased that score against the worst ranked team in the world. American Samoa are 203rd in the FIFA rankings, while Australia are 74. You're listening to the news from the BBC in London. At least 45 people have been killed in a stampede at a football match. Anche in questo caso il bilancio di vite umane è pesantissimo. Almeno 50 morti, decine e decine di feriti. Il dramma è avvenuto nel corso del derby fra le due squadre di Johannesburg, i Kaiser Chief e gli Orlando Pirates. Allo stadio erano presenti 68.000 persone, ma almeno altrettante erano fuori che premevano. Really It was the season's biggest. Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs either could win the Premier League. It had been heavily promoted and far too many tickets sold. There was a stampede as the fans pushed to get in. In the chaos, there were desperate efforts to revive the injured, but the emergency services were overwhelmed. So were some of the stadium fences. The weight of people was just too great. Outside, fans try to find the friends they came with. It's the terrible job of hunting for identification. But some survivors already know the worst. I just took my, my friend's shoes and I left her there because she's already dead. This is a national bereavement, but there's...